everyone, this is Les with Pearl Lemon, and I'm here to go over another software video tool called Rake. So Rake is this messaging AI software from what they express. So as you can see at the top, it says messaging platform, and then it kind of caters again towards Rake simplifies business messaging for everyone, etc. And so they also have these other features such as tasks, workflows, visitor monitoring, etc. So I just want to, you know, take care of that up front because it does get a bit confusing. So my first impression of Rake, I was looking at it and I was thinking, oh, this is a messaging software tool to kind of you know combine all the messaging platforms like slack you know email if you wanted to or whatsapp skype you know all those messaging platforms that's what was my impression from first glance because i kept seeing you know messaging software everywhere so that's what i thought and it is a messaging platform but it also has some other tools and so you will see what I mean in just a second. So to go over who can use Rake, it can be anywhere from business owners to fully take advantage of all the features. If you're there to use specifically the mess messaging platform or messaging feature, then it can be used for everyone. But if you wanna take advantage of all the features that I will go over in just a second, then it's kind of more for business owners. So let's go ahead and jump right in and just talk about the features before I go into the pricing. Just so you, you might be confused. So let's go ahead and see, you know, messaging without limits. It goes over the messaging again. So let me kind of hover over what this platform has to offer. So it has the two-way omni-channel chat. They have website visitor monitoring to monitor your website you get notifications invitation to call to action live details and actions and visitor history you also get some collaboration tools of private and public channels searchable workspace guest users that are coming soon and file and image storage and then you have a completely whole other feature called the task management task management feature which is kind of self-explanatory to add tasks and work through some custom workflows, get some notifications, etc. So let's go ahead and jump into the pricing before we go over the dashboard and then we'll talk about the pros and cons. So here are the pricing plans. You do get a free plan if you want to. It can be up to 10 users on here. You have up to five chat domains, five chat widgets, 500, SMS, messaging, unlimited search history, onboarding, consultation, etc. And then you have the Rake 25 as it's called and then the Rake Unlimited. So you can also scroll down to kind of compare the plans to really get an in-depth look at some of the other features that they have. They have connect with live agents, they have Facebook messaging, so overall, they have quite a significant amount of messaging features, but they also have these features such as the website live visitor monitor feature to view live visitors on your website and so on and so forth. So personally, um, I think that this feature is very helpful, but for a different software. If a software is going to specifically focus on messaging, I feel like they said should focus on messaging. So this can be a pro and con because you can see this as very helpful because you don't have to worry about, um, you know, looking for another software as I would probably recommend having one specifically to monitor your website. Um, but I will just say that this is a pro and con and we can talk about it later. So let's go ahead and jump into my dashboard. So let's go up here. So at first glance, like I said, I thought that this was a specific messaging platform. Um, so I was kind of, you know, put off guard by a bit just because 
I was so confused. So it took me a while to kind of understand everything that they had. So here is your dashboards and it shows you a little bit of each of the features. You have your tasks, you have your recent conversations, conversations by platforms, etc. And then you can view the conversations, look at the visitors to your website. I don't have a website, so I don't have anything right here. So you can do visitors browsing at the moment. You can look at recent visitors, etc. And you can look at tasks where you can add and do as much as you want. So I like that the task tool is with the messaging with a messaging software just because if your messaging like if your company uses a specific messaging platform such as we use whatsapp sometimes you may get last minute tasks so it's very easy to kind of just do it all in one place so that's why i like this feature again you may not like this feature you may have a different task management site and it's just too much to do both because you're spending more time trying to type it in than actually doing the tasks and then you can view customers so like i said this tool would be beneficial for business owners um or anything anywhere from you know finance if you deal with the customers or if you deal with the seo where you can monitor visitors etc so i wouldn't just character or how would I put it? I wouldn't just share this with everyone just because I don't like it whenever I have a tool that I'm not going to fully use just because I feel bad. Even though it's free, I just like to make the most out of that tool. Um, you probably don't mind, but I don't have any customers, so I wouldn't be using this tool like specifically the customer section. And then you have users and channels, you have the workspace editor, reports, and then just your billing. Um, billing section a good thing I wanted to note is that they do have documents to go over each e each of the features how they work you know what they do what are they etc and so forth so I definitely use those because I was a bit confused and when you first go into your dashboard they do a little tutorial for you so that did help me but I was still confused because I was thinking about messaging specifically. So overall, let's go ahead and jump into the pros and cons. So as for the pros, I, again, this is personally just my opinion. You may have more pros, you may have no pros, you may have more cons, you may have less cons. So this is just my personal opinion. I would say that this is a great place for messaging and task management. Of course, if you have a different task management tool, you may not use that feature as much or you just may specifically not use the messaging at all and use the tasks and the other features more. So personally, I think I would enjoy the managing the tasks while viewing all my messages in one place. Um, and moving on to the cons. So as for the cons, I just think that they have a lot of extra features. They're kind of surface level features of different niches like SEO, viewing that, viewing your website, you know, that monitoring section. That's very surface level. I wouldn't depend on this software as an SEO tool because it's not. It's a messaging tool. So I just think they have a lot of extra features that are a bit random, but you might enjoy that you can see everything in one place. So personally, I don't like that there's the extra features and aside from that it kind of narrows the audience or the users to use rake it kind of limits who can use it just because I would feel bad that I'm not using those features as much because I don't have a website I don't have customers so so on and so forth and then I don't like that it doesn't mainly focus on messaging if it says it's a messaging platform that's what my main focus is again that can be a pro for you that could be a con and then the lastly is the learning curve it takes a bit to kind of recognize all the different tools they have just because they're it's more than just messaging and it's a lot so this is a, a tutorial 
this was just solely a review just because um, it's my opinion about this software tool. So overall, I definitely think that it could be beneficial for someone who would use all the tools. And if you don't use all the tools, then you don't use all the tools. If you're comfortable with that, then great. And overall, everyone has different opinions. If you enjoy this tool, comment down below. If you don't enjoy it, you can also say that too. If you have another messaging platform that you would recommend aside from this one, also comment that so that you can help other people out. Overall, thank you all for watching and this concludes our software review on Rake.